But first, we're getting a clearer picture of the damage from Monday's historic tornado outbreak. We have team coverage of the cleanup. We begin with our Sarah Maki live in North Aurora, where homeowners are still picking up the pieces. Sarah. Yeah, Erica, we've been with this crew behind us at multiple stops today. They started work at 7 a.m., still going. They say that this work will continue for at least a week, and some of us, some of them are telling us that this is the worst storm damage they have seen in their decades on the job. The sound of chainsaws and wood chippers fills this tree-lined neighborhood in North Aurora. Public works crews following the same path as the now confirmed EF0 tornado from Monday night. A high decibel clearing crew that's the sort of help Mary Evans would welcome in her own backyard. I don't know if they're trusses, but they're all broken up in there. She's been told she has the worst home damage in all of North Aurora after this 60 year old sycamore came down on her home on Sycamore Lane. I thought it was just a, you know, big loud thunder crack at first. But when I saw the hole at, by my back door here, I'm like, oh. <laughs> She's often thought of having the tree taken away, but says Mother Nature made the decision for her Monday. I had gotten this hole in my roof from the tornado. Branch must have come darting through and knocked everything over. Spiking this tree limb through the ceiling in her living room. Looked around and I'm like, okay, I gotta go jump in the bathtub in the middle of the house. Just around the corner, these crews are now clearing branches from the road and sidewalks using a brand new wood chipper. They picked it up Tuesday after North Aurora leaders gave final approval at a board meeting just hours before the tornado hit. New equipment before the worst storm some have ever seen in North Aurora. I think this was an EF0 tornado, and I don't believe in my years here we've had one uh, to real tornado. So this is probably the worst one that I I've seen here. We've had other ones, but not with this much damage to a localized area. Crews say even after they remove all of the branches and clear all of the streets, they say there is about 10 trees that were so badly damaged they will need to be removed completely. Evans saying that there is such widespread damage that she's having a hard time people getting people to come out and to give her estimates on her own repair work. In North Aurora, Sarah Mocking, CBS News, Chicago. All right, Sarah, thank you.